Hello, hello. Just a quick update on the Iceland eruption. It's now 10 days ago since the eruption started, and uh, it's comparatively long relative to the other three Sundnukur uh, eruptions. And uh, it's, however, going weaker. It's growing weaker. And uh, let me quickly show you the vents right now. So I'll uh, put, it, uh, put my screen on here and... Uh, Let's see if that works, it should. So here we have the view, the live view right now. And uh, here we see the events. And this is the strongest one. This one is a little weaker. This one is uh, still going, but uh, the tiny one here in between, it seems to have stopped. So this seems to not continue right now. And uh, well, we expect that it's gonna go a little slower now as well for the other vents and overall the magma outpouring seems to become less intense. So let me bring you to the uh, Met Office webpage here. This is an uh, announcement from yesterday afternoon. The gas is still an issue, SO2 uh, gases are coming out and they're spreading into various areas depending on the wind direction. There was a problem in Grindavik. Somebody had a medical issue there uh, very recently and the air quality is still a problem there. So you can actually go here as a very good service where you have the volcanic gases. And uh, this map here gives you the wind direction and it gives you the gas plume. And uh, you can actually change the day here. So you can see that earlier today, it was going towards Keflavik. And right now it's going out to the ocean towards the west, uh, west, northwest. And then towards tomorrow, it's gonna go less and it's gonna go to the southwest. So it's gonna look okay. And then it goes further to the south and then the model actually stops here. So it doesn't have predictive capabilities forever. But right now it's not going over Keflavik and uh, it's going towards the west mainly. So Grindavik is not in the gas plume right now. So very useful uh, little uh, predictive device. So the uh, lava outpourings are actually continuing, but uh, the lava is going mainly to the south and then a little bit towards the west. And uh, the most spectacular event has been the filling of uh, a quarry recently. There was a quarry that was dug out to build the barriers, the lava barriers. And I actually found a nice little uh, video actually here. So this is from Icelandic News. And uh, here you see the lava pouring into the quarry. So this is very, very interesting. And uh, uh, here's an other video actually. So this is a drone footage here. There you see the lava advancing towards the quarry, which is here on the left side. And if we just go a little further, here's the quarry in overview. And this is the lava eventually reaching the quarry and uh, pouring into the quarry or starting to pour in. And then a little further, we see this lava filling the quarry. And by now, the quarry is entirely filled. So the quarry is no longer there. It was just dug out for the materials, as I said, for the barriers. And now the quarry has been completely filled up. And here you see the liquid lava pouring into the quarry basin. Well, very intriguing situation because, uh, you know, pouring is considered, you know, uh, spoiling the landscape, but now the volcano has actually fixed it itself. So quite impressive in a way. So this is the current situation. I expect the uh, situation will likely continue for a little longer, but the magma rate is uh, dropping. However, the uplift has not yet changed. The Svart Engi region is still in uplift and the earthquakes have also shifted. It seems that the magma is now not supplied via the Svart Engi reservoir directly. It's actually coming via a uh, probably a dike uh, from underneath and it's uh, producing the eruptions there. So uh, the Svartz Engi reservoir is partly, not completely by the, by the looks of it, but partly bypassed. So there's a more direct connection to depth now. But as I said, it's getting weaker now. So I expect we will likely see the end of it in the next few days. It starts to come down and fall asleep unless there's a new pulse of magma coming from depth, then this might um, be reinvigorated. But let's hope this is not the case and this calms down now. So thank you very much and all the very best.